In this video, we are going to learn about how exactly a full real life API project is done from manual point of view as well as through the automation point of view. Not only that, I'm going to give you exactly the collections. We are going to go from the requirement, how to create their test plan, how to create their test cases, how to create their postman collection. And also we are going to see how exactly you can automate them also by using the rest assured. I'm going to give you a overall idea like at a high level. We are basically learning each and everything like how exactly you need to create the collection of postman how exactly you can automate the same scenario by using the rest assured also i'm going to give you a couple of important resources how exactly you need to see and actually do this api testing live in your company also it's a short video where i want to give you a high level 360 degree or you can see a bird view how exactly from the api documentation till the closer where you create a reports and everything how exactly you need to perform the api testing and with the resources step by step all right so let's get started and now guys this video is very very important if you want to know like how exactly as a manual tester fresher or non it how to add a api testing project into your resume also what are the things that you need to do how exactly you need to learn which concept you need to learn also side by side all right let's go please remember first of all you need to understand this is a first a restful project that we are basically going on right so this is one of the project which i generally like which is restful booker which is a basic website right first thing first you need to basically understand is you need to immediately write the moment the moment you get the requirement this is called as the api documentation which means you are getting the requirement right now with you right so now please remember there are two types of companies right now one they will give you requirements second one where they will not give you requirement right if they don't give you requirement then i'm going to give you one of the things where you can create your own high level requirement by using this template which template i'm going to share with you if you don't know about a project right if you have no requirement written then get the information about the project from by talking to your developer by talking to your product manager get all the details what are the url payload stpp methods status code and other things are basically there create your own requirement based on that so this is one of the example by the way this is one of the example of catalon cura example which is a new project this one for this project especially how to basically make an appointment how to do a login and registration page i have created my own requirement also so i'm going to share the template with you if you need all the documentation which i'm talking about all the resources you, that you need to talk about right if you need all of them let me know in the chat i will do that just type projects in the chat right we are targeting 100 likes and 100 comments the moment we will have it we, i will share all the details with you, right so this is how you create your own requirements from the scratch this is what you need to do this is the step number one right read the documentation but if your company is good they will give you certain kind of documentation right always remember for example if you say github repo api also right all good companies basically give you repository they will give you the api documentation like this which is a good sign because now we know what exactly we need to test right in this scenario it's a crud operation so what we will do is i will write each and everything here as an objective what exactly is the objective it's a crud operation which is create read update delete all these options where right where you can book an application book a booking hotel booking kind of a thing you can do a hotel booking you can update a booking you can delete a booking and multiple things you can do after this when you are clear with your objective what to test the right? third thing you need to understand is what exactly i'm going to test in this case you will see that okay i need to verify the responses i need to verify the headers status codes time json schema validation authorization crud operations and multiple things my by applying my testing technique also so a rough idea that you have basically done so requirement which is given to you second important point is generating a test plan this is the most important thing that you need to understand guys here i'm going to give you a very interesting thing because now the generative ai is already here you already know how to create and work with generative ai so here in this link i have basically given you how exactly you can generate a test plan so this is one of the prompt i'm going to share the prompt with you also this is one of the thing that i have tried right so you can create the similar kind of test plan which is a exactly a plan that you need to generate where it contains objective scope and other information about it right so if you write the prompt this is one of the prompt i will share the prompt with you also i can show you the live demo also the moment you do that it will generate a beautiful test plan for you that you can basically keep it to yourself so second important point is generating a test plan that you will be doing it for a live project right now third thing third thing is i'm going to share the test case template now the third thing is you need to generate or test cases manually 
which is very very important so here i have basically i'm going to give you this uh, sheet the ultimate sheet to create a test cases just create a copy of it and start creating the test cases this is one of the test cases that we have done this is a create booking test cases that we have written by the way roughly test cases i have written but here i would suggest you to write a proper test cases like this by using the postman so now you are done with your test cases also now the fourth important point that you need to do afterwards is test case execution which means you will basically use the postman you will install the postman i am using a web version of postman you will import all the requests into the postman so whatever the request that i have suppose this is a request that i have right what i will do is i will just copy this as a curl and i will put each and every one so by import clicking on this import click on paste i will import all the request into the postman how many of you are with me give me yes in the chat i mean i hope you are able to understand if you are able to understand till now just give me projects into the comments okay so this will import your request now this is the request that we have imported we will do something called as the test execution where what i would recommend ki promoter now the question will be how do we write test cases about postman and how to learn guys i have created a 42 videos around postman i would suggest you to they are still valid these are very updated ones i would suggest you to go through them how exactly you need to import into the postman how to write test cases in postman how to basically make sure that your text execution is passing all things basically you can do that but nowadays it is very easy you just have to go to scripts make sure that you do a request just use a post bot guys what you need to do is there is an option of post bot just type add the test cases and it will add automatically all the test cases here now postman is very easy by using the ai so it will automatically add all the things and all so test cases are also added into your postman this is how easily you can do it right last step which is your test closer and everything right now it's time for you to automate the stable scenario so how you going to do that you going to use something called as rest assured library so rest assured dot io if you go you need to learn the rest assured which is a very famous library i have already created around 30 plus videos how to learn selenium or how to learn rest assured from scratch and create a beautiful framework in the end that can automate the same project that we have done and this project now you can easily run on the jenkins also so this is the overall process and whatever the html report that are generated this is one of the report which is generated by the way right where this is the report now this report that you can share with your qa lead so this is the end to end cycle guys this is the end to end cycle you get a requirement test plan test cases import them execution by using postman automate them in the end by using the rest assured and you share the report with your people this is how real life full api testing is done from requirement to automation i hope you have loved it all the links i'm going to give you if you need it with the resources both of them just type projects in the chat i'm going to share all the everything and please remember the new batch of job ready automation tester with ai edition is already started if you want to become a part of it you can do it till now recordings of the miss class will be given to you it's a saturday sunday class that you can always try right so all this this is one of the only one project i have given to you by using the ai we are doing almost three plus projects that you can add them into your resume also in the automation testing blueprint batch which is basically starting links in the description make sure to check it out type projects in the chat i will share all the links with you thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye